the implications of having so many different formats and having so many different platforms which are connected um, are that the studios are facing the biggest menace, which is piracy, la piraterie. And what that means for, for me is that the studios have, they have less money to take chances, so there's, there's an effect on the content of the films. The middle of, of studio filmmaking has disappeared, so they are, they're either making films with, with enormous budgets, very big budgets, or with very small budgets. Um, but the way in which I work, the way in which I make films, is not really affected. It, I'm talking about the creative process. For example, I don't, um, the manner in which I frame a, a shot is the same, whether it's, even though I know that eventually it will be seen, you know, on something this size. Um, but when I see a film, when I see one of my films on a screen or on the airplane or something, and it's been changed, it's been reduced in size, it's painful. I mean, because that's, for example, the first film I made, Shanghai Noon, was shot in anamorphic, which is widescreen. And the first time I saw it on an airplane, it was shown like square, 133. Uh, and it, and it, it, it gave me, you know, ça m'a donné vertige, uh, because I was only looking at one third of the film. It was two-thirds of the information of the film, which didn't exist on the screen. So that's getting better with, with HD format. The, the films are, are getting wider, which is helpful. But, um, but really, the, the, the creative process stays the same for me, but the implications around the material and how people view the material has changed.